everyone, how's it going? Anne here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a piece of wall art that you can hang in your home. Now this is something that is a little bit different. It is inspired from something I saw online of an ombre heart. I thought it was so beautiful, but I wanted to add my own spin into it. And so today I'm going to show you how to make this wall art that is also something that you can use at a wedding or at a shower, a reception, some sort of celebration where you want to get your guests involved and also interact so that way when you hang it in your wall you can be reminded of the wonderful celebration and the wonderful people in your life. For this DIY, you're going to need some color craft paper. I have four different shades that I'm going to work around with. I have a light pink up to a very dark pink. So if you want to go for that ombre effect, then pick a few shades to choose from. I found this butterfly cutter that I got from my local craft store. Now, if you can't find something like this, it's okay. You can create your own template of a butterfly or a heart, but I just find that a cutter makes the job so much easier. Next, you will need a big old canvas. Now this piece of art can be as big as you like. You can use a smaller canvas or you can even find a bigger one. All right guys, so the first step we're going to do is just cut out a whole bunch of little butterflies. For each color, I'm going to start out with 10 butterflies and then if I need more, then I'll just cut out more. So I have a whole bunch of little butterflies. These are so pretty. What I do with the butterfly is that I fold the wings up. That way it looks like the butterfly is sitting or landing on something. Isn't that cute? All right, so for those of you guys who can't find a butterfly cutter or a heart cutter, this is what I suggest for you to do. Cut out a little square that's about the size of your palm. Then you're going to fold it in half and cut out a heart shape. Just keep cutting it until you get your desired look. It should look like little butterflies. I cut out a whole bunch of my little butterflies and they look so good. Look at this beautiful ombre effect right here. Isn't that gorgeous? We're gonna use some double-sided tape and put them onto the butterfly. I wish that I have a thinner double-sided tape, but I'm just gonna use what I have available. And this is a great project to have a friend over and to help you out, you know, you can bribe them with some yummy food and just tell them that, you know, you have some cookies and cakes um, and tea and they'll come over. <laughs> That's my little trick right there. The way you want to display this at your reception or at your party is lay the canvas down flat on a table surface and then you're going to take your butterflies and lay them on top, just like what I'm doing here. We're gonna start with the darker color and then we're going to transition into the lighter color. So the way this works is when your guest walks in, they see this beautiful display of butterflies in a heart shape. Um, there's going to be a sign on the side telling them to leave a blessing and sign their name on a butterfly. They're going to take the butterfly write a little note of encouragement. I mean, this is not that big, so maybe something love and laughter, sign Anne, and then they're going to peel off this paper. All right, guys, so I laid out all the butterfly in a heart shape right here. It turned out so beautiful. I think that guests are going to love this. If you know anybody who is having a shower, a reception, a some sort of party, celebration, wedding, make sure to share this video with them. And if you enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more weekly videos. And I would love, love to see you guys soon. Have a great week, everyone. Mwah. Ciao.